Yeah, that's right, Kim. You know, Keith Carnes has been serving a life sentence for a murder he says he did not commit. This morning, we were there when his lawyer uh, called Carnes in prison to tell him that the state Supreme Court agreed that he should be set free. They granted the writ and ordered you to be released in 30 days unless the prosecutor decides to retry you. Oh, my goodness. I sent a chill up my back. I'm ready to get up out of here. Man. Now, a private investigator uncovered new evidence in Carnes' case a few years ago. That evidence supported his claims of innocence. Lawyers also argued there is a lack of physical evidence tying him to the crime. The state doesn't do anything in 30 days. I'll have to let him go, but I, I would assume they'll either dismiss the charge, the charges fairly quickly or say they're going to retry him, one of the two, uh, which uh, we're hopeful that maybe as soon as by the end of the week they'll, they'll dismiss the charges. Now this is the latest example of a wrongful conviction that has resulted in exoneration in recent years. Gibson says studies have shown that between 3 and 5 percent of the inmates in the United States are innocent. And Gibson believes that's thousands of people nationwide, possibly hundreds here in Missouri. Now the prosecutor who originally filed charges against Carnes was Amy McGowan. That's the same prosecutor who also tried Ricky Kidd. Kidd, you'll remember, also has been exonerated after spending 23 years behind bars for a crime he didn't commit. Pat, Kim? All right, John Pepitone Live. We'll see you at the bottom of the hour. Thanks.